When the orb system comes out, it's going to be so annoying for me. This is going to be a buy, guys. Come on. Let me get that buy, guys. Crack my screen. Get it. What is going on, my super sandwiches? Ryan Style here, and today we're playing some more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle on the global side of the game. I don't know why I made this fist, but here's two. So, the main reason why I decided to do this video is, number one, I'm itching to summon. It's been a while. I, like, I'm waiting for a new banner to pop up, whether it's global or the Japanese version. I just want to summon. So, we're going to summon on the double SSR rates because it's increased rates. Why not? Take advantage of it. Two, we have a new update that I'm actually very excited about. For starters, and I'll explain the first part when it actually happens, we have a brand new uh, world tournament mode. Now, to those who have been playing the Japanese version, you're already aware how it works. It's basically in tiers now. You have uh, difficulties up from like 3x, 5x, 7x, 10x, 20x. And obviously, the more uh, higher the uh, difficulty is, the more experience you get. It's actually a lot more enjoyable to do than the previous grind fest. I mean, it was an absolute grind fest before. This new system is a lot more fun to do. On top of that, it's challenging. Now, to those who are using basically your Broly's, your, uh, your Majin Vegeta's, and basically attacks or attack all units like Xeno Trunks, for example, you will no longer be able to really use those because uh, the higher difficulties, they have so much HP. I mean, you can still use them, but they have so much HP that even though um, you do an attack all, it won't kill everybody. So uh, when we do actually, when the tournament actually comes out, I'll explain it better then with visuals. But for now, I do want to point out that we have a brand new tournament. I'm very excited about that. The other one I'm most excited about is this. We can finally summon even if your inventory is full. That has been the most annoying thing about Global. It's been very annoying about uh, Dokkan in general. They fixed it on the Japanese version a while ago, but now it's a thing actually on Global as well. So that's super exciting. So we're getting closer and closer to catching up. It's so cool to see Bandai has really stepped it up and you know they said they were going to do it and they're actually doing it. They are basically catching up to the Japanese version as much as possible and I'm very happy about that. Now it's all about waiting for Omega Shenron as well as Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Blue Vegito. When they come out, I'm probably going to play Global even more. Announcement out of the way. Uh, as far as the specific details, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. But uh, as far as you know, going down and breaking down the tournament when it happens, I'll do that when the next tournament comes around. Which I'm not sure when the next one is, but it should be somewhat soon. So yeah, that's super exciting. Alright, let's get into the actual summons. This is what you guys are here for. You guys are here for the summons. We got increased rates. Last time I did this banner, uh, I actually did pretty well. Uh, I believe I got like 3 SSRs, but I might be wrong. So let's see what else we can get with 75 stones. So, here we go. Swipe. Let's just jump right into it. As always, if you like these videos and having fun and having a great time, feel free to leave a like button below. Uh, also, first summon, Super Saiyan 3. What do we get? What do we get? You guys can watch first. If it's Majub, don't tell me because I don't want to know. Is it Majub? Oh, we got Super Saiyan 2 Goku. I'll take that. The agility card. He's actually in a banner. Um, two things I want to say. Number one, I opened the P.O. Box finally. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a long time. I, you guys tweet me all the time saying you want to send stuff and I can potentially send stuff back. Uh, the link to the video with all the information I will put in the description below. So uh, to those who care about that, I wanted to give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, well then I'll probably just close it sometime in the future. But for now, I want to test it out. It could be a fun way to interact and then do, you know, like Mail Mondays or something like that. I don't really know yet. Uh, some kind of openings on camera would be a lot of fun to do. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say is, of course, if you're enjoying this video, feel free to leave a like button below. And as always, the goal is 9,001 likes that we never ever actually ever actually hit, except for, I think we hit it twice. Uh, but still, I like to toss the goal out there because it's fun to see you guys actually get, you know, you guys go ham on the button. You guys do get pretty close every now and then. Uh, although you only hit it twice, but whatever. It's fun to have a challenge. So, if you're having fun, feel free to tap, tap the like button below and all that stuff. Alright, three, let's do a group summon. Let's get right into the best part. All right, summon with me. Pause me if you have to. Then unpause me. We're gonna get right to the screen. We're gonna swipe together. We're gonna charge it all the way up. We're gonna charge the biggest Kamehameha in existence. You know, it'd be cool if you can actually change the character that does a blast. Like, start charging. Let go right now. If you could change who does this, like for example, have Gohan do the Kamehameha, have freaking uh, Beerus do the Spirit of Destruction. Just have some kind of different uh, animation that you can choose based on your preference of your favorite characters. Like that'll be a really exciting thing to see. I don't think we'll ever see that because, well. It's, I feel like that'd be unnecessary development time when they could work on other things like characters, modes, and stuff like that. But uh, I still wouldn't mind. That would be a nice little refreshing touch to add to the game. Or even switch it up where it's not like you choosing, but every time, by the way, I got this. Whatever you got, comment down below. Um, uh, they could also just randomize this. So it's like Goku sometimes, sometimes Vegeta with the Gallic Gun, or Final Flash even. It would just a little fun way to add a little refreshing thing to the game. If you have any ideas on how this game can be more refreshing, as far as like that, not like major features, feel free to drop in the comment section below. Major feature-wise, I would always love to see multiplayer. It would be so much fun facing off against friends. Like imagine this, like uh, I can like challenge like Living Ichigo for example, 
my team versus his team. I, I, I know a lot of us do the races uh, where we race to beat the boss events. You know, we'll do like the two dual screen cameras and stuff in videos. But imagine being able to fight each other. That would be so much fun. Like, I know this game isn't as complex as the average, like, you know, like Dragon Ball Fusions, for example, or even Xenoverse. But still, it'll be fun to, like, you know, test the waters. Like, have me fight against whoever else. You can fight some of you guys. It'll be an exciting way to add a little refreshing alternate way to enjoy the game. Like, this game's already addicting as this and fun, but imagine, like, you collect all your favorite cards, and now you can, like, trash your friends. Like, that will be something I would love to see sometime in the near future, or future in general. I don't know. All right, so far we started off with one Super Saiyan 3 SSR. Can we get another one? No, we got the fake Beerus trunks. The reason why I call it fake Beerus is because um, I remember when I was trying to get that strength Beerus, you know how he's like this? <sighs> well, it's kind of the same silhouette, but it's obviously Trunks' body, so it's not the same silhouette, but same pose, basically. So I call him the fake boat. Fake pose, Beerus. <laughs> let's get into the next one. All right, here we go. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what's happening. Hercule on the right. You know what? I think Hercule on the right is going to hook it up. What you got for me, bruh? Just send it my way. Just send me the SSRs my way. Come on, give it to me. I wonder what's gonna happen next on Global. Uh, like the thing is, is we always talk about this, the fact that Global's cool because you can kind of predict what's gonna happen next. We're not getting that much. Freaking SR and Go Um, I assume Omega Shenron is going to be next like, as far as major events. But the question I want to know is, is what happens when they catch up? Because at the rate that they're uh, catching up, I wonder what's going to happen Like if they're going to do stuff simultaneously. Which is going to be kind of a first world problem because it's like, if, if Dokkan gets to the point where it's literally simultaneous to the Japanese version, I don't know which version I would rather play. I mean, other than the Japanese version mostly because that's where all my good cards are. However, if I do pull, you know, good cards on Global as well, then I'll be, you know, inclined to play both. So, I wonder if we'll ever get to that point where it's truly simultaneous. Because, like, the thing about Dokkan is, is the Japanese version had a, a, a bunch of months ahead of time, and then other games are coming out that are getting localized a lot faster, have a smaller gap just because it took a lot less time to localize it. So, I wonder if we're truly ever going to get to the point where it's, like, this close to each other. Like, right now, this is, this is good. And we're, like, what, two months behind, I want to say? But I wonder if we'll ever get to the point where it's, like, weeks or even a month. I I'll sell it for a month. Uh, either way, the cool thing is, is I like the fact that the global version has just improved so much. In the last couple months and i'm actually even playing it again like i'm literally like playing this when the orb system comes out it's going to be so annoying for me this is gonna be a bye guys come on let me get that bye guys crack my screen there it is what what <laughs> did that really just happen <laughs> i'll just choke i'm so gonna use that for my intro and i'm sure at this point people watching this will be like what where was the bye guys oh you dick oh uh, you can't tell me that wasn't funny though that was hilarious all right we have uh, six more sevens left. I can't believe I just got trolled by that. I mean, you uh, in, in double ray banners, he never goes base. He almost never goes base. And usually, if you go base in a situation like that, it's usually a buy guys. I mean, I know usually you need. I said usually like four thousand times. I know you need the rainbow with base to get the guaranteed buy guys. But even that, I've gotten rainbow base four before, and I got an SR. So um, I figure since he was base form and he always goes super saiyan doing double rates. Oh, it's gonna be bad, guys, but it's not. Instead, it was just it was just trash, guys. Guys, it was just trash. It was just trash. All right, let's get into the next one. Oh, I can't believe it just happened. All right, Hercule on the left. This is going to be good. I smell it. I smell it. This is going to be amazing. Here we go. We're gonna go all the way to Super Saiyan 3 once again in this form right here. Let's go. Go all the way up. What? Oh, man, why are you doing this to me? Power all the way up. Do it. Oh, it's just freaking Bukula. Technically, he's an SSR on Global now. Because, I mean, when the Buhan event comes back around, I can just get, you know, 35 medals and awaken him into an SSR. Technically, that counts, right? Probably not. Not really. Although, I probably should awaken him and use him on my intelligence team. Because, like, there's still a bunch of units that I'm missing uh, from the intelligence side uh, on a global game. They could improve my Buhan team even more. So, maybe I might do that. Uh, I don't know how many medals I have left over, but I might work on it in, in, uh, the next time Buhan comes back. Alright. What you got for me, game? <sighs> Garbage. Just lots of garbage. They know it was, it was garbage day today. <laughs> they know it was garbage day. All right. That, that, that's great. That's lovely. It's funny because that Goku that I pulled in the beginning, I am not a big fan of. Uh, he's not as bad as like the original Goku doing with the messed up hands. But I, I'd rather get something else. Like I'm honestly looking more forward to getting new intelligence units that can run the Buhan team than getting anything else. Because like with Double Ray Banners, you don't get Dokkan Awakening Fest or Dokkan Festivals. Dokkan Exclusive Fest... Doka Festival exclusives, that one. So, whatever you get is kind of like, eh, whatever. Uh, why is this Vegeta even in the game, man? Just 
Take him, throw him in the trash. Give me Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I don't want this Vegeta. Ugh. The only Vegeta from GT that's like worthy of using is probably Super Saiyan 3. Off the top of the head, I think. But uh, this one, no. I don't want that. Come on, man. Let me get one more SSR before we end this video. Let's go out with a bang. Let's go out in a bang. Look at all those space pods. Look at all those Saiyan space pods. Let's see what happens this time. So we got the instant Super Saiyan action. Even shook the screen. So let's see what happens. I'm spewing out nonsense. Spew out some SSRs back at me. Do it. What you got for me? Oh, this is freaking Bojack. Dude, I remember how, how excited I used to be about this Bojack. I, he, mine is, uh, has an SA-10. I remember I waited all the way until I got 10 of these guys. I, I got the Super Attack maxed out. I awakened them and then never, ever used them. <laughs> I never, ever actually used them. All right. Last two seconds left. I mean, we got the, the goal out of the way. And the, the major goal was to you know, show off the announcement of the most recent update. And we're getting closer and closer to update 3.0, which is nice. But uh, it would be nice to get some little more SSRs. I mean, it's, it's always a little bit nicer, right? I mean, that's how this works out. So let's see what we get this time. Okay, Super Saiyan 2 once again. Okay, we're not going to get a 3 here. At least we got 3 once. I'm excited about the 1. And we got the Starter Pack Goku. This is literally, literally, the Starter Pack Goku that everybody will probably use when they first get this game and they have never played it before. Alright, last summon, I guess. Let's see what happens. Hitting the summon button right now. Let's see if we can go on the bank. Come on, let me get something nice. Who's that? It's popping up on my screen. Okay, whatever, I'm good. Just make sure that my screen uh, wasn't telling me, Hey, your, your, your hard drive's full. Alright, here we go. Here we go. What's going to happen? Bah. It's a Super Saiyan. Let's see what happens. Go, 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 do your thing. Blow up the giant energy ball in the sky thingy. Do the thing. Do the thing. Don't do the thing. Don't do the thing. We can still probably do the thing. We can't do the thing. We cannot do the thing. With Blue Kolo. <sighs> Every time we have a uh, double SSR raid banner on Global, I swear the game's just like, nah, we're not gonna give you anything. Okay, go back to your Japanese version of the game. This, this is for global players only. Hey, I'm a global player. I'm a global player. I still play a lot. I play all the time. I log in daily. That, that counts. I do the missions. You know, I get my, my daily uh, items and medals from like the daily events and stuff like that. That counts. We might get a couple SSRs or two. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, at least we got one. Uh, what, what did I even get? I forgot. Oh yeah, I got the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And uh, mostly I just want to show off the fact that we got... He's right there. Most of them are shot the fact that we can actually go over our um, thingy now, which doesn't matter now because I, uh, I'm i not even nowhere near to filling it up. Whatever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like I said, leave a like right below. 9001 is the goal. If you want to send stuff, then click the link in the description below, which will take you to my uh, P.O. Box information video, and then you can send me potatoes and stuff like that. Uh, by the way, uh, don't send me potatoes because I don't think I have enough space for that. I got I got like an average size P.O. Box, unlike, you know, the average YouTuber, whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Ryan Style, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Don't forget to tweet me, and don't forget to show me what summons you got by just commenting and tweeting me. And other than that, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Ryan Style, and I will see all you awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.